Okay, we're going to get right into the uh, competition next. Um, welcome to the sixth annual GW Business Plan Competition. I'm John Rollins, the founder and the director of the competition. I was just reminiscing uh, earlier this morning with some friends outside about uh, our first competition six years ago. And uh, we really just had two sources of funding to pull it off that first time. We had uh, the Scott family, uh, and I'll talk later about uh, Rick and Ann Scott. They gave the $30,000 that was our total prize pool that year. And then the other source of funding was from the dean of the School of Business. And it started here in the School of Business, and we've, we've met here every year since then. But obviously, it's, uh, it's grown. And I'd like to actually talk a little bit about uh, all these names you've been seeing rolling across the screen here, uh, which are our sponsors. Um, from, from the Scott family, we've grown to have 12 additional sponsors this year. Um, and they're, they're fabulous people, and they, they really account for our ability to have grown the program. Um, in fact, they're on the back cover of your program. And um, the first two listed, Luther King Capital Management and Blank Rome, are two platinum sponsors. The next two listed, Capital One Bank and the AARP Foundation, are gold sponsors. And then from uh, Deloitte, Brazen Careerist, uh, WeWork, Affinity Lab, Advantage, iStrategies, or iStrategy Labs is the real name of that company, in the capital, all the way down to Event Rentals DC are in-kind sponsors, and they're giving gifts of services or products that our teams can really use to help grow their businesses. In fact, the last one, Event Rentals DC, is, is uh, started recently by a student who graduated last year and who entered this competition. So I'm glad to see he's giving back at a young age. And then besides all, all the outside sponsors, we have at the top of the back cover all the schools within the, the university. And we're fortunate now to have um, support and sponsorship from all 10 of the schools that comprise George Washington University, not just the School of Business. But School of Business is still the largest supporter. But um, I, th I think I'd, I'd just like to thank all our sponsors and uh, ask you to give them a round of applause. So what this amounts to now is um, over $130,000 total in prizes, of which $101,000 would be the cash component of the prizes. Um, quite a change from that first year when we just had, uh, had $30,000. The, um, the, the, the teams that enter our competition obviously has grown tremendously too. We had a very small number back in 2009. This year we had 113, and when you look at the metrics of the prize money, 130,000 plus, and the teams, 113, this actually puts GW now in the top 10 university-based business plan competitions in the United States. I'm, I'm really proud of that. And, and the primary area where we've grown this year we had 60,000 in cash last year, 101,000 in cash this year. The primary area where we've grown is with the new social entrepreneurship track. I just want to talk for a minute about that. Um, we have two new prizes. Uh, one is a $7,500 prize for the best nonprofit social venture, and then a second $7,500 prize for the best for profit social venture. And when we uh, talk about social ventures, we're really talking about organizations which value the social or environmental bottom line equally with the profit bottom line. So that, that's, that's our definition. And uh, we'll be hearing today um, from four um, startups that are on the social entrepreneurship side, four of the 10 that we'll hear today. We're going to hear five beginning immediately this morning from now until lunch, and then after lunch we'll, we'll break and we'll actually bring back a few of the teams that were winners last year. I, li I like doing this so you, they can report to you on what they've done with the money and whether they're still in business and that sort of thing. 
Um, and then after that 30 minute session, we'll get into the five afternoon presentations and then wrap it up obviously with the judges trying to scratch their heads and pick the winners. But the, um, the, the four um, social entrepreneurship companies um, or breakdown between two that are fighting for the best nonprofit social venture prize and two that are fighting for the best for-profit social venture prize. We actually did a random drawing to figure out the sequence of all 10 teams today, just, just to be fair, not give anybody an advantage of being first or last or whatever the advantage is. Um, and believe it or not, the first two presentations we're going to hear this morning are the two teams that are fighting for the best for-profit social venture. So that'll be fun. That's uh, Pedal Forward and uh, Generation A Records. There's uh, an agenda that lists all the teams in order in your program, so you can, you can follow it as we go through there. Before I um, introduce the judges, I'd like to just add a, a personal note. This is my last business plan competition here at GW. I've been uh, a professor here teaching entrepreneurship and running this competition for 13 years. And uh, I told the dean last fall that I'd be stepping down at the end of this year. Um, but it's, it's, I can recommend it to any of you as a second career, as it has been for me. It's just a fabulous thing, working with young people, working with students, seeing, seeing their energy and vitality and, and creativity is, is just, just a wonderful thing. Um, in fact, I must say, uh, Next to my grandchildren, they've probably been the center of my life. Uh, the teams that I've worked with, the hundreds of teams, literally, over, over the last six years, have really been the center of my life uh, here on campus. It's, it's just been a great experience. So I, I, I recommend that. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Um, I'd like to next... Uh, introduce the judges, and I'd like to begin, as I mentioned a minute ago, the Scots got this all started six years ago, um, Rick and Ann Scott, and I'd like to tell you, first of all, that Ann and Rick are both entrepreneurs. Everybody knows about the companies Rick has, has started and succeeded in, but until Rick was elected governor of Florida, Ann had her own business in Naples, um, and she's an entrepreneur too and has, has her degree in business administration, so I'd like to invite Ann to come up and just, just say a couple of words uh, before we introduce the other judges. Ann? Well, good morning. Is it on? Uh, it is such a pleasure for me to be back for the sixth annual GW Business Plan Competition, and I am truly honored to be one of the founding sponsors for the competition. We began the competition, Rick and I began the competition as a way to give back to GW. Our daughter, Allison, uh, graduated from GW, I believe, in 2005. She has been an entrepreneur a couple of times over. Um, in fact, I think everyone in our family has been an entrepreneur, uh, except for maybe one, including our sons-in-law. And uh, I want to... Uh, tell John that I am truly amazed at his energy, his enthusiasm, and his passion for entrepreneurship. It is truly amazing. And I want to thank you and your team for your vision and commitment to building one of the top entrepreneurship competitions in the nation. Thank you very much. And I'm truly honored to be a part of this. Uh, I'm looking forward to the competition today. It's always fun and exciting to see the ideas that come from everyone here. And I want to wish all of the teams the best of luck as they uh, make their presentations. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'd like to just quickly introduce the other judges, uh, starting on, on the left end, and if you could stand up, please. Andy um, just came in from uh, Fort Worth last night. Uh, he is a representative of Luther King Capital Management. He's a partner there and uh, really has a, a sterling background in finance. He's uh, what's known in, in the uh, industry as a CFA, Chartered Financial Analyst, and uh, has, in addition to his uh, undergraduate degree, 
two master's degrees from uh, Northwestern University, uh, one in, one in uh, um, engineering management and a, an MBA in addition to that from the Kellogg School. So good to have you on our panel, Andy. Next to Andy Terrell, Terrell McCombs. Terrell earned his bachelor's degree with honors at the University of Houston, also in Texas, obviously. But fortunately, he didn't stop there. He came to Washington and got his MBA here at GW. Um, and then after since with Ford and Chrysler in uh, Detroit, he went back to Texas and uh, got involved with uh, McCombs Enterprises, where he rose to his current position as the senior managing partner. So great experience. Good to have you here. Peter, could you stand up? Peter Weissman. You've seen Peter before. Peter is another of our platinum sponsors uh, and a partner with the Blank Rome law firm, which is right here in Foggy Bottom on Virginia Avenue. Um, Peter has, has, has worked with patents for years, from the, started in the patent office way back when, and now is uh, probably among the top uh, intellectual property attorneys here in Washington, D.C. And we're very fortunate that our teams are able to uh, work with him, thanks to his, his willingness to uh, give pro bono services, uh, work with them specifically on, on their patents and copyrights so they can get started the right way with their new businesses. Omer, would you stand up next, please? Omer is a principal with Venture Philanthropy uh, Partners here in D.C., um, and his master's degree uh, from GW is in public administration. Um, he served on the board of advisors of the Elliott School of GW and also on the university's uh, board of trustees, the big, the big board as we call it. Um, and he spent the day yesterday um, at his alma mater, Harvard Business School, where he got his MBA. He was up there yesterday judging their social entrepreneurship business playing competition. So great to have you with us today, giving back two days in a row to two different schools. That's great. <laughs> And we've just heard from you, and again, it's, it's, it's a blessing to have you and your support and, uh, over this whole period of time. In fact, I think you may be the only person in this room that's been to all six of these competitions other than me. I'm not sure, but <laughs> thank you. Cliff Kendall. Cliff is, is a good, good friend of mine. He uh, started his business uh, as an entrepreneur in the late 60s, actually the same year I started my first business. Fortunately, we were in different industries. He was serving government, and I was serving uh, nonprofit membership groups. But uh, we, we got to be friends on the uh, GW School of Business Board of Advisors many years ago. And uh, he, he, in fact, uh, when I joined the Board of Advisors, was the chairman of a committee that had been set up to raise money to build a new school, physical building, for the School of Business. And later we called it Duquesne Hall. So here we are. Thank you, thank you for that effort. <laughs> Cliff has also served on the University uh, Board of Advisors, as well as on the Board of Regents of the University System of Maryland many years. He chaired that board of the B Board of Regents in Maryland, so a lot, of, a lot of giving back. Thank you, Cliff. Scott, could you stand up, please? Scott Reckler. Scott is another GW MBA, and uh, he started off at Harvard, Maybe with Omer, I don't, I don't know where the Harvard influence comes from, uh, but he got his uh, bachelor's degree in uh, social anthropology at Harvard, uh, but then found his way back home to D.C. He's a native of D.C. and uh, got his MBA here at GW, and we're grateful for that because he's now the CEO and director of Learn Serve International, uh, a group I, I admire, admire very much for what they do. Um, they have a, uh, a goal of um, preparing high school students to be community leaders with a focus on not only social entrepreneurship, but global awareness. The students get to travel to other parts of the world, and it's a fabulous program. Thank you, Scott, for being here and being one of our judges. Well, the rules are very simple for this competition. Um, my assistant, uh, Sam Altman, standing right over here, is going to be um, holding up cards that the, the teams will see when they get down. It's a 15-minute maximum on their presentations. When they get to three minutes, he'll put up a blue card, two minutes a yellow card, one minute a red card, so they'll know uh, where they are in, in, the, uh, 
in the deadline because literally we'll cut them off after 15 minutes. And then we're going to open up for a maximum of seven minutes of Q&A from the judges, maximum. Doesn't have to be that long. And again, we'll use the, um, the blue card when there are three minutes left, um, yellow card and red card, so we don't go over the seven minutes. So we keep it, keep it even for all the teams all the way through the presentations. So the, the first team we're going to hear from is Pedal Forward. Are they ready?